2021 has been a massive start of mobile hardware announcements from Intel's 11th Gen, high-performance mobile processors, and AMD's Ryzen 5000 series mobile processors. Having so many new hardware announcements means that they will be available, right? Well, we saw how that went with AMD's Ryzen 5000 series desktop processors. But you guys didn't click on this video to get into another topic of stock availability. You guys clicked it because you are looking for a new laptop. Before that, we would like to invite our viewers to like and subscribe to our channel to support us so you can get notified whenever our videos go live. Now, let's hop right into it. First of all is to get yourself updated with the latest processors available. This is very important as you might lose out on performance if you were to wrongly pick the processor. Intel has made it quite clear on performance tiers with namely i3, i5, i7 and i9. While on AMD side is R3, R5, R7 and R9 respectively. Do note the performance tiers do not represent generation differences such as i7 is not newer than i3. They only differ in performance tiers. Here's a small diagram made by Intel in terms of their processor identification. Intel Core is the brand and i7 is the brand modifier. The number 10 indicates the generation number, in this case it is the 10th generation. The 65 in the diagram based on Intel represents the SKU numeric digits. But Intel sources say that the SKU numbers are not recommended for comparison across different generations or product lines, while also say, stating that the higher the SKU numbers, the more features it will generally have. At the back, the product line suffix. Intel and AMD both have their fair share of product line suffix, while they both share a few of them such as U-series and H-series. They do have their own separate lineup as well. For Intel and AMD, the most commonly found on laptops are U-series, H-series, HS, HK, HX series, and G-series. U-series is targeted for mobile power efficiency with power rating usually at 15 watt, while H-series are high performance optimized for mobile with power rating of 45 watts and above. HS is specifically for AMD is a more power efficient high performance processor optimized for mobile at 35 watts while HK from Intel and HX from AMD are high performance mobile processors that have been unlocked for overclocking lastly the G series which indicates the discrete graphics on the package while on Intel side they have G1 till Z G7 which indicates the graphics level of the processor now, with all the explanation about the types of processors out of the way, which should you choose? It depends on what you are planning to do with it. U-series are designed to provide consumers with best battery life and its lower power rating allows it to be placed in a smaller and thinner laptops. H-series is more focused on high performance and requires a strong cooling solution to keep them cool. Same goes for HS, HX and HK series. These processors are often found in gaming laptops or creator laptops with the intention of having high performance on the go. That is all for today. We hope we didn't miss out anything but if you think we've missed out on anything, do let us know in the comment down below. We will be making a follow up video for graphics card but until then, why not check out our previous coverage of AMD's RDNA2 graphics architecture and NVIDIA's new Ampere architecture. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next one.